Hello, and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe, and today, in honor of the Torture Post Department being just days away, we're going to be discussing whether or not Torture Post Department will be red 2.0. Okay, so as I said, we're just a few days away from the release of the album. I cannot wait to hear it for so many reasons, one being that it feels like it's been a long time since we've gotten new Taylor Swift music, which isn't true because it's only been like a year and a half since we got Midnight's, but it feels like it's been forever. But honestly, the reason that I'm most excited for this album to come out is because we have not gotten a genuine breakup album from Taylor Swift in over a decade. There's been breakup songs on albums. She's definitely touched on heartbreak here and there over the years. But in terms of a true and genuine breakup album, it's been a while. So we're going to discuss whether or not this new album will be like a sister to Red, an elevated, more mature version of what she experienced over a decade ago when she wrote that album and kind of figure out whether or not Joe Alwyn is going to suffer the same fate that we saw Jake Gyllenhaal. So a lot to discuss, a lot to get into. The first thing that I want to discuss is that there's been rumors floating around. Now, none of this has been verified. None of this has been confirmed. It's truly just like fan rumors and whatnot. And honestly, we're going to have to wait for the album to come out before we can actually say whether or not this is true. But there have been rumors that Torture Poets Department is going to sound sonically like Red. Now, Red is obviously, it's really kind of a mashup of many different genres. You have pure pop songs, you've got some rock songs, you've got some kind of country music in there, almost some a little electronic, lots of different things going on when it comes to Red. I could see something similar happening with Torture Poets Department, where she's trying lots of different things, especially if we're having Jack Antonoff produce music, we're having Aaron Desner produce music, maybe other people are going to be involved. You know, that's already, that already tells me there's some interesting things going on. Post Malone, Florence and the Machine, like, I don't know that you would say Post Malone and Florence and the Machine are like the same, (laughs) the same type of music. So that already tells me that this album is probably going to have some interesting pieces involved. But as I mentioned, Taylor has not had a really true breakup album since she put out Red. I'm a Red stan. It's my favorite album she's put out. I love it so much. And I've always maintained that I think Taylor Swift makes her best music. She writes her best music when she is heartbroken, when she is sad, when she's angry, when she is pissed off, frankly. And I don't necessarily want her to feel those feelings. I want her to be happy. I want her to feel good. I want her to go through positive experiences, of course. But the reality is in life, we all deal with heartbreak, devastation, pain, anger, grief, whatever it is. Um, And if I look or think about my favorite Taylor Swift songs over the years, I would say a majority of them are songs that she's written when she's felt very, very intense feelings. And I think her best writing comes out when she's really devastated. And again, I'm not saying that I want her to feel that way, but I do think it's when she does her best work. I think about All Too Well. I think about Dear John. These songs that are heartbreaking, but are just so incredibly well written. And so my hope is that despite the fact that going through a breakup, especially a breakup with someone you've been with for six years, that's a devastating experience. And I I don't wish that on anybody. I feel like this might be the opportunity for Taylor to make her best, her best music yet. And so the reason why I am curious as to whether or not Torture Post Department is going to be like red is because of the focus on the heartbreak, the focus on the stages of grief. I I feel like Taylor herself has said that she believes her only real true breakup album has been Red. And I think over the years we've seen post Red, there have been even, you could, I mean, 1989 has some breakup songs, certainly, right? I mean, that 
album definitely chronicles her time with Harry Styles. But ultimately that album is about independence. It's about finding yourself. It's about being a, you know, mid 20 something year old moving to New York City and living your life. And that album is not a breakup album. And then you move forward to Lover, which is obviously an album about love. And she has a breakup song in the album, Death by a Thousand Cuts, but it's not based off of her own life. And and then as we go forward in her discography, Folklore, Evermore, Midnights, she has other breakup songs, but again, nothing that is, or as we've been told, nothing that's been autobiographical. And so I feel like we're now at a point, obviously 12 years post Red, where she's finally going to be writing breakup songs and a really a breakup album about her personal life and her personal personal journey. Um, and I think it's going to be, I I feel like her best writing is going to come out of this experience. I also think, you know, with Red, I think a lot of her feelings, that relationship was short. It wasn't a super long relationship, but it was intense, right? And that's what she says in, in her songs in that album is like, it was intense. It burned, it, it burned super bright and fast. And then it just like flamed out. Whereas I'm assuming with this album, obviously it's about a six year relationship. So it's not going to probably have the same tone, but it's going to have the same level of devastation and pain and anguish and all that kind of stuff. So very curious to see how those two compare. Once we listen to it, I'm sure we'll do a compare and contrast and kind of see how they're similar, how they're different. The other question I have is how will the internet, how will social media, how will Swifties feel about Joe Allen post Torture Poets Department coming out? Because I feel like he's already, people are, don't love him. I, and I don't, you know, I'm curious about this too. And if you're a Swiftie and, and have been one for a long time, let me know in the comments how you feel about this. But I, I feel like Swifties never never like loved Joe Alwyn. I think there are a lot of people who like liked him and liked him because he made Taylor happy, but I never got the sense that people really cared that much about him. Now, obviously, since they've broken up, I mean, people have obviously switched on him very quickly, but people are ready to come at him. And I have to imagine that if this is an album that is full of zingers towards Joe and does not paint him in a very favorable light, People are going to come at him. And we've seen what's happened to Jake Gyllenhaal, John Mayer. I mean, really, I feel like Harry Styles has gotten through, you know, has has people don't hate him. <laughs> so I, I feel like he and Taylor have a good, still have a good friendship, a good relationship. That, that That's fine. Obviously, Joe Jonas kind of until the Sophie Turner divorce, Taylor Lautner, like that's all fine. I also feel like people don't really care about Calvin Harris or Tom Hiddleston that much either. I, I really feel like the the uh, the people that Swifties tend to really dislike when it comes to their relationship with Taylor Swift is John Mayer and Jake Gyllenhaal. And I just wonder if we're going to be throwing Joe Allen into that grouping, all the J's, <laughs> except for jo- 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 um, Jonas. But anyway, I- I'm going to be fascinated to see how that plays out for Mr. Joe Allen here in the next couple of days, because it's going to be, it's going to be a little bit, a little bit rough for him. I have to imagine though, it might be an album that is about a breakup, but that doesn't necessarily paint him in the, in a bad light. We have to wait and see. I doubt that's the case just given based off of the uh, song titles (laughs) that we've been given, but we will have to wait and see what ends up happening there. Genuinely cannot wait. Again, please share all your thoughts in the comments. What do you think this new album is going to sound like? Is this going to be the sister album to Red? What's going to happen to Joe Alwyn? How are fans going to react and treat him? Just share all your theories, all your thoughts in the comments. We want to hear them. Please subscribe to our channel. As always, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.